Cairo is the heart of Egypt. It hosts 21 million people, one-fifth of the country's population. It is the financial capital of Egypt, the center for tourism, and the central government's home. However, as Cairo has expanded, it has encountered a serious problem. Like many other cities in the region, Cairo's population has grown tremendously and is projected to nearly double by 2050. Because of this issue, Cairo, with its thin and chaotic streets, has become extremely congested and is now one of the busiest cities in the world with a population density of 50,000 people per square mile. It is also one of the most polluted cities in the world. To fight this problem, Egypt has attempted to spread out the population. Over the last 50 years, numerous cities have been established around Cairo in hopes of alleviating pressure on the main city. Nowadays, these cities are largely empty and have not fully succeeded in drawing the bulk of Cairo's population away from the downtown. These days, Egypt's government does not just want to relieve congestion from Cairo, it wants a different Cairo. A smart, modern city to strengthen the country's economic potential and to serve as a new administrative and financial capital. After being elected to office in May of 2014, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi proposed the idea of a new futuristic city outside of Cairo. Then, on March 13, 2015, at the Egypt Economic Development Conference, Housing Minister Mustafa Madbouli announced the new administrative capital, a project to transform 275 square miles of undeveloped land 30 miles east of Cairo into a smart, green city with a population of 6.5 million, the same as Madrid, Spain. The new administrative capital covers an area the size of Singapore, directly in between Cairo and the seaport city of Suez. The city will be the largest planned city ever, built in three phases. The first phase will consist of eight residential districts, a business district, and an administrative district covering 65 square miles. Phase two and three will then add another 225 square miles to the city, bringing the total population up to 6.5 million. The capital will have a Green River Park, double the size of New York City's Central Park, with an impressive monument similar to the St. Louis Arch. The metropolis's 20 residential neighborhoods will hold hundreds of thousands of apartment buildings and luxurious villas. A six and a half square mile, $20 billion entertainment district will contain many resorts and five-star hotels, a super mall, a VIP golf course, gardens, a planetarium, a museum, and a sports stadium. The capital's business district will have 20 skyscrapers, including the 80-floor, 385-meter-tall iconic tower which after completion will be the tallest building in Africa. The city boasts plans for a theme park four times the size of Disneyland, along with an electric monorail linked to Cairo and a brand new international airport. To make it green, the city will run off a 35 square mile solar energy farm. And to make it smart, the city will utilize a cashless system for services, a smart traffic network, a unified digital infrastructure, and a massive recycling system. Along with all this, the city's plans include details for 400 miles of roads, many artificial lakes, 2,000 educational institutions, 663 hospitals and clinics, 1,250 mosques and churches, 40,000 hotel rooms, and a technology and innovation park. To say the least, it is one of the most ambitious urban projects in history. To make the city a reality, Egypt has created the Administrative Capital for Urban Development, or ACUD, a government company that owns and is developing the city. The ACUD is hoping to fund the majority of the project from land sales and other investments. So far, it has been fairly successful. As of December 2019, 28 square miles, or nearly half of the first phase's land, have been sold. By June 2020, the ACUD plans to sell another 10 square miles. For additional funding, Egypt has also received billions of dollars in loans from China. All of this money has gone to construction companies, including the China State Construction Engineering Corporation, or CSCEC, who in 2015 agreed to construct parts of the capital. Since construction started that year, tens of thousands of workers have been making impressive progress. Looking at satellite images from 2018, one can identify a highway along with many roads three completed residential neighborhoods, corporate offices, the presidential palace, the House of Representatives, the Ministry of Defense, a commercial development with a hotel and convention center, an airport, and many other buildings. Other images reveal the finished Al-Fatah Al-Ali Mosque and the Nativity of Christ Cathedral. 
Footage from January 2020 shows the ministries, the House of Representatives, and the Administrative Control Authority nearly completed and many other buildings rising quickly. On April 22, 2020, CNN released a video of the Central Business District, with many skyscrapers under construction. Included is the iconic tower, which is already 20 stories high and is expected to be completed by 2022. The city has quickly taken shape. Over the past couple of years, El Sisi has had numerous visits to the city, and has even toured it with French President Emmanuel Macron and Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. However, there are still some problems to overcome. The ACUD has struggled to sell land, and there's a shortage of experienced labor, which is crucial to wiring up the smart city. And there are some moral problems. There is worry that the new capital will only be accessible for the wealthy, essentially blocking out the poor and leaving Cairo in the dust. And ironically, the smart city will use 650,000 cubic meters of water a day from Egypt's scarce resources to hydrate the massive parks and tree-lined avenues. Still though, construction is continuing. With the outbreak of COVID-19, the government has ensured the continuity of work on the sites while preserving the safety of the workers. However, due to the virus, plans to relocate the ministries to the new capital by mid-2020 were rescheduled to 2021. In the coming years, construction will continue. However, the project's success ultimately lies in the public's willingness to relocate. The spokesman for the project, Khaled El Husseini, is adamant that the smart city, with its wide streets, open water, and sparkling skyscrapers, will improve the lives of Egyptian citizens and become a global city. We. We'll just have to wait and see. Do you think the new administrative capital will be a success? Let's talk about it in the comments below. If you enjoy this video, join our adventure of the future by clicking that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.